to another episode of Cafe 21. I'm your host, Clara Marquar, and in the hot seat today, we have a very special person. Our guest today is a former professional footballer and the founder of Functional Therapy, where he practiced a unique and holistic training system called Functional Patterns. Being one of the few people in the UK that applies this method and has helped many, many people with it, uh, it's a great pleasure to welcome Pete Mach. How are you, Pete? Hi, Clara. How are you doing? Very good, very good. Are you? Thank you for having me. This is, this it's, is a pleasure. it's a pleasure, really. So the drill is three questions, three answers. Uh, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Great. Let's get started then. So the first one is uh, pretty straightforward. <laughs> what do you do exactly? So as you, as you already mentioned, I practice functional patterns that I've learned in states years and years ago and soon as I, soon as i started it just it completely changed my life i used to be just ordinary personal trainer and and i knew that i wanted to do something else so i discovered this and it completely it blew my mind and since then i never look back and i and i started helping people so I literally functional patterns is about restoring the natural ability of a human of a human body to move with no pain mm -hmm. so it's that's that's pretty that's pretty much it and uh, usually people come with uh, all sorts of problems back pain neck pain uh, uh, it can be knee problems after injuries or or let's say after after some surgeries honestly there's nothing then from what i've seen there's nothing what functional patterns can do yeah it's it's amazing i had a many clients with uh functional neurologic disorders or i've seen other practitioners helping people with uh cerebral palsy or parkinson's it's honestly it's amazing it's amazing well, actually it's a uh, sometimes we think well that posture movement uh, is so we take it for granted, no? Like, uh, with oh yeah, 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 we, yeah. We, we, we do until until we can't walk again, so or anymore. So it's always like that. They just and people don't realize that. Or mm -hmm. people who come with a pain, they say, and they they stop. We help them, or I help them, or like anyone like who does functional patterns help them, and like they they realize like how how is to live with no pain because they completely forgot about how it is and and we are designed we are designed to move as i as i already said before and we have to move if you don't move then we our body is going to become really rigid and we're gonna if i talk a little bit more and i can go in, into depth uh we do have a fascia that wraps everything in our body and it's now it's considered as a new organ and it communicates with everything in the body, absolutely everything in the body. And what we, if we don't move, the fascia, it become dehydrated. And when it's dehydrated, it can't send the right information. It can't move us as, we, as we're supposed to. And then, then is it just a step to have uh, some imbalances in our, in our body? It, it can be just a small imbalance in a, or tension in the, in the muscles and then later on if you do nothing about it it can present again as a pain or or stiffness somewhere and then later on it can lead to let's say new hip because we do nothing about it mm -hmm. and everything like everything if you move right then our posture or standing or the movement like the way how we move it's way better than it than, than we actually think like that we can move definitely I guess you answered, but I think the second question, which was why posture and movement are so important for human health. Uh, so basically, yep, if you want to add. Something. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it just is. Uh, everyone, I believe like everyone's got a uh, unique, uh, unique posture and everyone's got an ideal posture. Mm -hmm. And I try to find, I try to find it, that, that ideal posture where again if where there's no pain and sometimes it's a it's like a i'm like a detective pretty much to find out what doesn't work in the body because we need to 
find a root of a problem. It's not just, yeah, my, my knee hurts, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to treat your knee. But in a 99% of cases, it's got nothing to do with the knee. It can be, let's say the right knee is hurting, then uh, the problem can be the left shoulder or it can be left arm that people like when they walk, then don't use uh, their left arm when they walk so like then it's it's this it's reciprocal to to how we move and so the posture is is it's fundamental like to everything if we don't address it we can't move right so and then you go back to the, this the structure or the posture that's governs function so if the structure is not right then the function can't be can't be proper as well and it can and it can be applied other way around as well Exactly, exactly. And um, uh, well, the third question that we have is, what are your plans for the future? Oh, I get it. <laughs> I get a huge plan. So. <laughs> That's a huge I one. I get a massive plan. Actually, I study, uh, I study osteopathy because of it's the most closest holistic approach to or health profession to to what I do, the way how I the way how I approach hum, human body. Mm -hmm. And so I've got three more three more years uh to left, which is some suck like eternity. But uh the, after that I will I qualify I want to I want to take a my idea I have is to take osteopathy to another level mm -hmm. by applying functional patterns or other way around. So we uh, applying a more osteopathy to functional patterns just more help more and more people down in, in Bournemouth and get more people on board that we're going to be able to take uh, take more people in and help more people and I want to educate people ideally through the uh, through the classes and because of now it seems to me the clients I've, I've seen and, and I've spoken to that the thinking or the mindset of people slightly changed. It's not just I want to. They go to a gym that I want to be big. I want to have a huge muscles, or I want to have a and it, let's say big bum like a for 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 women when when they go to a gym. It's just people start thinking about okay, I want to be I want to be healthy. I want to I want to have a healthy body. I want to have a body that like there's there's no pain. And which is absolutely amazing because here years and years ago it was just about just about huge muscles and and let's say beach body and nothing else. And now the the mind mindset slightly shifted, which is perfect, and it opens the door for us. And we can people want people want to know more and people want to be educated, which is which is absolutely amazing. And educated in a in a more holistic way, you know, it's not like yeah, medical. yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. It just it's they 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 want to they want to know why is that happening. It's not just they don't want to be they don't want to be dismissed by, mm -hmm. let's say, if they go sometimes to physio and they give them list of exercises and they have no idea why 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 they do them. So yeah. the aim is to to educate them that they will know why they do have to do these exercises in order to get better. Definitely. Otherwise, they just it's going to be a vicious circle, and uh, they're just going to be repeating the same mistakes they already have been, and it's going to get worse and worse and worse. But we need to break that the chain is some somewhere, and uh, completely change the path, and the people is going to start doing the right things. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit of time left, um, and I wanted to ask you just now that okay. you're thinking about teaching and educating. Do you think that this can be or should be taught to to young to young people? To young, like, why don't we learn this or how to move and how to posture or how to uh, use our body intelligently and from a younger age? I wish I, I, I would give you an answer for it. But to be honest, when I was when when I when I was young and I and I was playing football, there was there was nothing like that. Nobody knew about that. Or maybe okay, if, if there was someone, it was just only okay for, for, for a few people. Mm -hmm. And But the amazing thing that uh, loads of thinkers knew, knew uh, loads of people who who thinking outside the box, like the guy who uh, who started Functional Patterns, it's, he, he 
practices he, he does what he practices and he he also like educates us and which is amazing and uh, more and more i'd say like a younger generation they start applying these protocols because they know that it's going to help or if their trainer is going to start like a let's say applying these protocols because they want to help them to be to be the best mm -hmm. and or oh, actually and then and then train and uh let's say win or like a do day sport in the in the best abilities and with no with no injuries because this is the this is the worst thing for for professional athlete mm -hmm. that can happen to them that when they injure themselves so the prehabilitation is the most important thing and again as i said when the mindset slightly changed so even now it's been more and more applied to young younger generations or or teenagers mm -hmm. and it can be sometimes it's quite difficult because they just they don't think that way because they've never been injured yeah. and until you're not injured you think like you're invincible or not, nothing can happen to you but like it honestly it doesn't matter and i've seen it and i've seen like many many clients i had like a really young one so let's say 10 11 12 years or who, who play tennis or play football and they how far they can get in in terms of movement or their or performance it's it's incredible yeah, yeah. so like as soon as soon as it's better so to, to be honest i started too late never so brilliant uh well thank you so much peter uh for sitting here with me talking to me i can talk to you for hours <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. i'm super interested about this and i hope people listening We'll go to your website and contact you. And we wish you all the best from next Thank you so much. Thank you for thank you so much for having me. Have a great bye. day. Bye bye.